Um, I'm going to show you the... Uh, before we do the copy, I want to go through some basic uh, uh, concept of uh, this, the rock or the mountain. Uh, I don't need to have different ink, I think, you, 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 to explain this. So the first uh, is the, uh, the go part. Go. Uh, in traditional Chinese, it's like this. Okay, go means the outline. And uh, we also use a compound word, go le. Go le. And I, I had a student online he's from Korea. She's, he, he studied art history and asked me, I said, go o u, right? O u. G o u, right? There's an English term in his book, and he asked me, what's Gola style? <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't... Uh, well, uh, this is... Uh, and later I realized this, this uh, term, it became an English word. You know this? Gola. Oh. Gola, yeah, because it's... A, even, even in Chinese, very few people really know the, the, the technical part of it. It basically means a contour drawing, but um, when it comes to, uh, it could be flower, uh, like outlined flower, we also call it go le. So you, you always start go le. When you study something, you start to outline it. That's a, yeah, with this brush. So the Chinese um, outline is different from a pencil or sketch. Uh, like a Western concept of uh, uh, drawing, because it has uh, uh, special rules. Like to do a rock, you start from uh, the left bottom, and you, you go all the way like this, and then this is uh, the closing. So this is uh, this this part is go. This this part is le. That's my interpretation. And some, I have seen some different interpretation. That, that will also work. Because some people say, or um, so they call this go um, and this le. So go you le. Left. You. So left and right. I think you, you did that. Yeah, some, so something like uh, like this. Yeah. yeah also. So, um, but I, I think it's uh, it's more. Um, it makes more sense if uh, uh, it's it's like uh, the uh, Tai Chi uh, interpretation. I think you always think about the. The opposite, opposite balance, the left and right. So you, when you do the left, you always uh, uh, keep an eye on the on the right. That that's the, the idea. So, okay, <coughs> that's the uh, that's first uh, uh, concept. Go le, G O U L E. Yeah. So you can do the entire painting with the uh, outline, the style. Right? And the next thing I will talk about is very important. Um, I have searched online and uh, you know in, in the in the books everything I have every resource I have. I never see someone really um, use this concept. That's uh, this character <coughs> and. If I write the standard script today, it's like this. It's like a place. Daegu uh, in Korean, right? It's a good. Uh, it's a big hill. I think it, uh, that means hill. This character means hill. Usually, 
it has to do with uh, some place name. But it's also a family name. But it comes from this uh, this uh, uh, symbol. In Roland Heights, our city's uh, logo it looks like that. Oh. It's a hill, mm -hmm. yeah. So th what this character means, sometimes it is written. Uh, it's a pictograph, right? Mm -hmm. Pictograph, yeah, ideograph. Um, it's similar to another character, commonly know for every Chinese student in first class. They usually tell to teach this, you know, the, where the Chinese Chinese uh, characters coming from. So this is a mountain. A hill is is it's a little bit rare word. Um, not every Chinese student, I mean, for, uh, study Chinese know, knows this, but uh, in painting, this is extremely important. And from now on, whenever you see a ch classical landscape painting, you will see this word in it, believe it or not. This, uh, um, in this painting, I, I see that. Let me see where I see it. Um, Uh, here's one, right? If it if if there's no, uh, I make one. You see this? Yeah. Just keep making this this, and you can make a whole uh, mountain range with this. So this is the in, in Chibash's painting, uh, Diane. I think you you copied the one hundred page one one hundred eighty one, right? I, the, the, I, the sun, I think it was 181. Yeah. 181. Let's show you. Now that, that's a perfect example, I think, of this. Uh, um, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, where mm -hmm. are my glasses? Okay. Oh, want me to find uh, it? It's, it's okay. I can read it. Okay, here. Here is it. Okay, let me show you this one. And let's do this. So this is usually on top, on top of uh, the hill. It it it's uh, it's like a okay. camel camel back. What right, do you call right. this? Mm -hmm. Or yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now um, let's uh, analyze this one. From uh, Tibet's uh, uh, painting, the, f the first thing I okay. Usually I outline it. I go go uh, this outline uh, with this character to start with. So you, and I I see older among among this uh, in, in this painting. If I know this this, so I know this three stroke. It's it's there, but, you know, sometimes it may have some variations, but I, you know, you, you can have more or less, sometimes some variations, but if it's chaotic, you know, you, if you try to copy exactly the trace, you got lost soon. If you make this character more clear, then you can, you can certainly make things more uh, organized. Because that's the our ancestors, you know, they create when they created this this simplified uh, um, pictograph. It represents all hills and mountains, you know, because mountains are just a little uh, with a peak, yeah, right. The hill doesn't have to have a peak. Right? You don't really see. Uh, yeah, that's the difference I think. And this is the the goal. Go part, and then another concept is uh, we have to distinguish the outline or the contour and the texture. The texture is called cun. Cun. Pi cun. Uh. Oh yeah, here, here. My Chinese writing. I think is that right? Someone correct me. Cun means the wrinkle. 
wrinkles, wrinkles, yeah. So wrinkles means uh, like a skin uh, dry, you know, mm -hmm. uh, skin. Um, in in Chinese, uh, in English, they translate it as uh, shaping. A German book, you know, translated from German, I think it translated as shaping. I think that's the best. And um, if you, if you just interpret it as a shading, then you might got confused because shading don't have to have the the line. It, it's it's shading. Okay, then I just shade it. And and the worst worst thing is, I see a lot of a um, lot of. Uh, uh, People, professional Western student uh, artists, they do this uh, uh, incorrectly by shading on top of the. Um, you see, they usually let's just do this character here, for, and then when you shade, you see this is the correct way, right? This is the correct way, and don't shade on top of this. I make it uh, exaggerate. A lot of people, many, many, many self-taught people, maybe, or from a, not an authentic, you know, teacher, they shade like that. So, and so it's dark on top. It doesn't make any sense because it's not uh, in the Chinese tradition. Not, not uh, makes sense in the Western sense. So the dark is the in the hollow part. The, the dark is the hollow part, right? So, yeah, you see the, the, the... Like the recesses. Yeah, the yeah. recesses. Okay, here you, you can see in this painting, um, this character, there's many small... And he, I think Chibai Shi may have a different word. I don't know, but uh, he always tightening, you know, tight this uh, together with this. It's, this is like uh, the, the corner of a cloth. You, you lift it with this. Uh, or to make another analogy, it's like a, a sheet uh, on, on the, like a bedding. Like okay. this? Yeah, yeah. You, you hold, the, you hold those, the, those, this ridge and it will come together. If you, as if you, if you can lift it. So that's where the, the energy is, is divided and concentrated. You might call it. Um, so the the water the division line or something like that. It has to do with the the ridge of the the mountains. I think that's the the back of the dragon. The back of the dragon. Yeah. So that 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 mm -hmm. that's the um, the dance part of the this this kind of painting. So um, for for the painting we study. Um, we only have like a slope, so that the ridge is not shown, right? But we still need, need to uh, understand this, I think. So let's do the, the painting. And I didn't really use correct ink, it's just for, for your concept, for, for this concept, you, you, for this uh, writing, you know. So we call this length. <coughs> Land scripts, <laughs> land scripts. So if you know this script, uh, you have to know the script. Just like you write callig calligraphy, so it's recognizable, uh, no matter how you stylize it. So that's the fundamental of the, the under structure of this mountain. Okay, understand? Any questions? So let's go to page two. Page 42, no, this painting. Okay, let's, let's just put it in here. <coughs> so, this is, a, this is the basic soft brush. Let me use a combination brush. It's a little bit um, stronger. And you wet the brush first, and you you got some light ink star with, and then squeeze out the extra, get some more, and you get a 
Yeah, Chibash is very creative um, landscape paint. In landscape painting, he used a lot of uh, techniques from his uh, flower and birds painting. By the way, um, I just got a letter to 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 sign uh, for another year to teach here. I was thinking, should we switch to flower and birds, or we stay with landscape? <laughs> Maybe we do both. I talked to them. Anyway, how many people are interested in flowering and the birds? That's why my... Well, I, um, yeah. I, I like the idea of birds and animals. Animals, yeah. yeah. Birds and animals, but flowers, it belongs to one genre. Yeah. Genre, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they, the technique is the same. Right. right. And the landscape is different. A lot of people in China, they're, they're in different uh, departments. Landscape is a department. department. Uh, Flying birds is the department, and uh, figure is another one. Yeah, so the, the, it's different uh, principles. So <clears throat> when I do this, uh, so in my mind, I, uh, I draw a cross mm -hmm. first. So this is a, you don't have to do this, but in a mind, so you, you, you always have this grid in your mind. So when you start, you look at uh, the, the shape is beyond the middle or in, on, on this side or that side of the grid. Uh, the horizontal line. So this is about one third. This is about up here. So I see a lot of people just did uh, like that on this half. So you need to go all the way to this point. And you can draw a big triangle in your mind, just like that. So it's, and then you. Something like that. So, you, so when you have the mind image, you always see it in your mind, mm -hmm. jumping out in your, in your mind. Then you start doing this without thinking. Uh, he he does everything in, in single in, in single take because but still you need to make sure which is the contour, which is the the wrinkle, right, and where the so you go with the situation. So he, he would do one stroke uh, from the dark to light. So you always start from the contour of that section, right? It could be squarish. And do it in, with an order, you know, from uh, right to left. So classically, they, they do this like the, you do the contour, and then you fill in the the, in, the wrinkles, the surface texture. Just first right? But first, Chibai Let's just call it a Y. The Y shape. See, this is a. Yeah. <coughs> So the inner inner um, line usually uh, follow the uh, the contour. So you need to the 
如果不见笔呢，那就是擦。Scratching is another um or scampering. We call it a scratch. Scampering, scampering with dry brush, um, is a, another uh, element. So you got a, uh, outline. Usually, is more solid, and contour, which is a little rougher, and the, then you scratch with a very thirsty brush, with a, a scampering, scampering, yeah. And then uh, the last, uh, the last part is uh, wet wash. 就是染，染。先勾皴，勾皴擦，还染。擦和染 ，is the same. Um, both of them are referring to the like softening or. Harmonizing, harmonizing, 就是让它让它那个模糊一点，模糊一点。You can use water, so just like clean water to soften, to soften it, to blend, to blend, blend in. But don't lose the the highlight, the 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 bad portion. Don't don't uh. Even you wash, you 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 still um, doing it like a calligraphy. Not not to, not use the side of brush. Use the tip of the brush. Use the this 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 brush always hold this way. He he always use the brush like a calligraphy way. Okay, and then um, this little trail. Actually, it's uh, like a, almost like a highway. I would say he just do it. In, with a, a car. So this zigzag shape, this is like a, a big ear, right? Big uh, three, whatever. And then this, uh, it's pretty leveled. So it's not um, like a, a dead snail or um, a, a jagged, like a saw, mm -hmm. like a, yeah, too stiff. It has to be more naturally uh, organic. And he just used the side of the brush to fill in. So his, uh, his approach is the simplest. The, he says the the simplest approach is the best approach. Technique, technically, so he just used the side. So this is a little bit from here. He he used the the tip of the brush drawing, but here is more like a shading. I don't think he drew the. Oh, here here is a little bit. The water line usually um, not indicated, not not drawn, because uh, here it is. It's kind of broken. Yeah, yeah broken. Uh, yeah, lost and found. Yeah. <coughs> because the the water, what uh, ripple? Yeah, not 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 uh, dead. Because otherwise it was stiff to avoid the stiffness. Yeah. So you want to. Make a, yeah. I think this sharp turn here is, should be a little bit uh, closer to the. When I use my right side, I mean my left brain, the logic brain, I. I usually make make it worse uh, because he he did he didn't care about this kind of uh, like a um, turn what is it called uh, oh the, the tangent uh, yeah yeah so I looked at it and I thought if I did that I would say oh I made a mistake yeah 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 I I think yeah, yeah that's obviously a beautiful mistake if you don't copy that part you don't get <laughs> the, the same effect 
because the, uh, the tangent in, in, in the painting usually is a, is a taboo. When you looks like the, the car have, have to jump. The people can jump, the car will, will yeah. Landslide. Landslide. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. So he, that, that's a good uh, example of this kind of uh, uh, beautiful mistake in masterpiece. Mm -hmm. If you if you copy it, uh, it, you have to give a just, a just you know like a, 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 a justification why you, you have to copy that. Yeah. Or why not? And you see the, he, this this line. Um, usually in in the classical painting they do little rocks like. A, like this, you know, on the on the body, but he omitted it because it will be too busy with all the yeah. falling rocks, yeah, or something like that. So he he, he didn't he omitted those part. That's okay. Just, just omit that. Okay, now let's do the <coughs> the the uh, background. So I will just add water. Um, should I do the tree? I think so. The tree should be first. So you, you, you have good. You guys are very good to read that thing. So, yeah, the tree should come first. And the ma major tree is uh, this one. So it's pretty dark, almost like this, this, uh, this layer, right? So I, I have a little dark to start with. And this tree, I'm not sure what it is. It's not very classical. You don't have to really tell the um, oh this is too too long. Anyway. This is too close, huh? I think it's it's a kind of willow tree, so I, I just make it to, into a willow tree, I think. there are two kind of willow in Chinese is yang and the liu. This is yang. Yang means uh, the, the, they're not weeping willow. There's another willow, which is liu su, one is called yang liu. Yang, yang su is is down. One is called kun liu. It's like a desert willow, something like this. Um, so they're upward, not falling, usually, we, uh, we see. So very the shape of uh, each chunk. Let's just do all the chunks together. And this one just like that. It's a bit bigger. And this is a little farther. Separate from the group here. And this one's behind. So make it overlapping. Okay, now I just you can use a smaller smaller brush, it will help. But the smaller brush you have to keep reloading. That's why probably he he, he didn't use that. You use small brush. Let's see how long it can last. It's almost exhaust. So let's just do this. Just use the tip of a larger brush. It's like uh, painting the the uh, pine needles, but it's very large pine needles in this case. Uh, mm. Almost like that.